Right, welcome to the channel guys, welcome to Geek Stuff, I'm Alex, and if you watched the last video, you know, got this from Smith's Toys, and I had a little unboxing, so you can go check that video out if you want, probably come up in the suggested views column, or probably here at the end of one of these videos, I don't know how many videos this is going to take, um, what? Oh, talking to Ted. Yeah, she's talking to Ted, talking about his food. <clears throat> Do you want to open them up? So, yes, there will be swearing. Guaranteed there'll be swearing. Um, and if you're wondering what I'm unboxing, 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Ex Executor, Super Star Destroyer, Executor Class, Super Star Destroyer, that's the one. Let's make them short. That's fine. Everything's in bags inside, or should be in bags inside. If I do do any more Lego builds, soon, it'll probably be Ahsoka Starship. Probably Tide Bomber with Darth Vader, um, or maybe a Tie Fighter. It depends on depends on the money at the time. And um, I'll bag one, one I need first. Okay. Two. And four and six. Oh, this is going to be. A few videos long. Instructions. So, bag one, important. Put the box down there and put empty bags in. Back to box four might be a quick video. Um, there are six boxes, six bags. Six and place five on top, four on top of that. Box three, box three and four might be in the same video, and box two. So I'm going to bring you in a bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm up to. This isn't a sponsored video, this is a purchase, purchase thing. Uh, the reason there was reasons why I um, what are you doing, Ted? You're scratching your nose. Was your food tasty? Was it? Right. Let's get into this. That's all I wanted to say. <clears throat> so yeah, beautiful thing there. Um, don't forget to check out the links for episodes one to five of Alexandria Explored down below. Um, might come up here or in the thing. Um, if you are new, do Lego Bill. I do everything from episode uh, broadcast D and D sessions, um, model painting, Lego builds, toy reviews, comic book reviews, music stuff on guitar. Um, it's pretty much the shape of it, really. So, um, and every now and then when I'm doing unboxing for minis, for like this kind of thing, every now and then I get given freebies. So whenever I get given a freebie or I get a paid for promotion, and that's a sponsored video, um, I'm not being paid cash. It's just it's a case of obviously. I get paid cash, then I get paid cash. And it's a paid for it's a paid for presentation. If I get given a freebie, it's a sponsor. Ship even if I even if there's something amongst the freebies that I've paid for, there's free stuff which is a sponsorship for the channel. It it, it doesn't come to any monetary value for the channel. 
it just helps out that it's something I haven't had to pay for. So that's the uh, short of it. And um, so let's get into this and then we can get started and bring you in closer. Enjoy building. Jens Convold Fredriksen, creative director, Lego Star Wars. I'll put a link down below for lego.com as well, as a whole. Engineering excellence from the Galactic Empire, being part of our celebration of the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. This warship needs no introduction. This impressive model is our latest version of the Super Star Destroyer Executor. An exceptional Galactic Empire aggressor. We first see it, its capacity with the Empire's victory over the Rebels on Hoth under Darth Vader's command and its shortcomings when it ultimately meets the, its end in the Battle of Endor as a part of a new model concept. We created this special mid-scale display version to capture the enormity of the executor Ex executor executor um, in a size that will still fit on your desk or shelf without preventing you from pretend flying it through your house and adding your own battle stories to Galactic Empire lore. This thing's going to be big. It's a 17 inches long. Some beautiful artwork from the original series. Built by Quad Drive Yards. Darth Vader's it's got some information in there. I'll probably do a little fact thing on there. And we have our part separator in the first bag. This gives instructions how to use a part separator. You'll see me use it quite a few times probably in this build, so let's get started. Let's get started. Let's start a fire. Right. Mini bags. There'll be no mini figures in this. I'll probably do a size comparison against my other larger ships and some of the smaller ones, the smaller scale ships. Um, part separator, important piece. Right, so what do I need first? Let's bring you in closer so you can see. might help if I get my knee underneath. If you're hearing a humming noise in the background, I'm not in a busy workshop like um, <clears throat> Adam Savage. Um, I have a fan going. It is, we are in the middle of a heat wave here in the UK. So I have a fan on. It is hot. And yes, you, Mr. American, I've heard you say, but it's England, you don't get much real heat. It's 33 degrees centigrade in London at this moment in time. And it's in the 20s here and it's humid as, and where I live is by the coast, so it is humid. So I know you Americans moan about the humidity in the deep south, especially in places like Florida. Okay. What's with the That. That's fine. What's next? I need another one. Of them. I'm guessing some of them are going to Another one of them, and a long one of them. Okay, so that, okay. And then I need, 
on the underside gray square to go there this so the instructions and and I need I need I need here we are is it eight eight yeah and eight stood flat to go there then 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 yes I need oh no I need part separator I need to put them small back. See? Third party, com third party Lego companies need to learn to number their bags when they do stuff because it helps. So I need that underneath there, and now I need that's the one. I think it's just to get pieces to sit a bit more flush. So I need that and that. And that. And that. And two. Smaller. Pieces here. Oh no, it's too longer. I knew I would. I knew I'd fuck up somewhere. These, these, these very long wing pieces here. Right. So. And that and then that. And that. That and that and no, don't. Okay, so that looks like that there, and it makes us flew on the floor, and stay there, Ted. Got it. Found it. <clears throat> Ted, please, you make me nervous when you start doing that. I hate having a go at you on, in general, Ted, I don't want to be having a go at you on camera, because I know all you're really doing is just being curious to see what I'm doing. Now I need these smaller wing pieces to have. Thank you. Piece there. Right, Ted is investigating the floor, and I want to make sure I'm not dro dropping any small bits on there that he's going to swallow, and then have to go to the vets and explain to him what's happened because he's a dog, and anything small on the floor he will put in his mouth. Usually he's good. But today, it seems, he just wants to investigate everything that's going on the floor. I don't know why, and it's making me go on edge. I don't want to have a go at him, because he's been a good boy today. And it's because we just had lunch as well, so... So, that's 
like that, but on top of that. See, I don't see why that's not a full thing of studs. And then I need that on top of there. I mean, that's what the instructions are telling me. So, <clears throat> two of these beautiful green pieces, which are going to get hidden. Guaranteed, they will get hidden. So, right in there. And then these two, two of these blue lights either side. There and there. Then we need uh, one of these beautiful orange pieces, yeah. And uh, two of these orange pieces and two of these lovely gray pieces. And, oh, okay. One of these light green pieces. The light green pieces are there. Right. Dipstick. Dipstick. Absolute tit. I know. I'm going to hear you say, isn't a dipstick in the car? Yes. It's also a term used for someone who's dumb in this country. So. Yeah. I need two of these green flatties here. So go there and there. And there and there like this. Um I apologize there's no top down view for your viewing pleasure. But um There, the smooth orange flat pieces go there and there. Is this going to be an open openable? Open, open, openable thing. Kind of looks like a, like a tribal war mask at this moment in time. Kind of. Some beautiful colours though. So I need. One of these, the other one of these, four of these little six stud length smooth flats, in there, and ah, look at that, I have exactly three of them. So this might be a short video, this one. Although I do I have two bits like that. That's what I'm aiming for is this arrangement here. And then like that. And then I'm wanting to put all three them orange bits there. Then the white goes there. Oops. Wait. Reminds me of the neon markers you used to get as a kid. And then that green slat goes there. Now I have two of these long, thin, smooth flats to go there and there. And then I have two of these, thicker. They could have done three along studs, but I don't know. But I've jumped a gun, I've moved across one. So that's fine, it's not gonna be an issue. What I need is this. One of these little four stud long flats. So it's long and it's flat. It's not a, a brick. Um, and then I need another one of them on top. And then I need one of them. And one of them. And then I make another one. 
One, two, three, four, and it's to make these engine parts here. right there and there to make engine ports and hopefully I am hoping to should make this a 40 minute video let's get back to Ashley yeah let's make this a short um, less videos actually let's wrap up there and uh, yeah, there we go. So, so far, bag one is the base of the Superstar Destroyer. There's a kind of sam sample of how big that is, about the size of, of a decent slice of pizza. Um, Oh, and I found a place, I found a place, I can't remember if it was in Newcastle, it sells pizza by the slice. I'm talking like, a, you know, egg slice. As it used to be a place I used to go to when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, when I used to finish work. Um, I used to pop in there every now and then, used to sell pizza by the slice, and it was like big, like, as big as your head. Um, slice of pizza, absolutely gorgeous. Um... I'll wrap up the video there. Don't forget to check those links out down below. Um, links are going to be in every single video. So, what I might have to do is I might have to do a, an actual intro for my Lego builds. What do you guys think? Hmm, it's an interesting thought. So, without further ado, live long and prosper till all of one made a four speed with you. That was the channel you're looking for, and you will subscribe. Yes, subscribe. Be part of the 100 Sub Club. And you won't to get to see the rest of these videos. Yes, you will. Videos you must watch. Entertaining it will be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, catch you later, Geeklings.